What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Something a little different today. Um, we're going to be doing hangers again. The old uh, update hangers. I already opened these up. We're doing seven of them. And we're doing seven for a specific reason. Um, I was just doing some quick comparisons because I actually opened up a hobby box off camera today. I got one from my LCS. Um, and I wanted to kind of just do a quick comparison between what's better off. And, and we've seen a couple people do this actually ironically today. I saw a couple uploads. But um, the hangers have been really popular. You've seen Striker open up two cases. You've seen Step in the Box. I think he's on like on round nine or ten of like eight boxes a night. They got, the guy is insane. He's been opening those up like crazy. Um, but there's a reason why. They have a, a lot of good value. And just to kind of show kind of a little bit of apples to apples, seven hangers that cost you about 91 bucks. I mean, I don't pay tax in Oregon, but I got these off of Walmart. Uh, the Hobby Box cost me 120 And I'm only doing seven hangers to compare because the the silver pack you get out of a hobby box with the mojos is kind of worth 20 bucks so kind of doing if you take that away then you know you're really comparing you know the the, the base cards that you're getting so for 91 bucks you're going to get 469 cards as opposed to 336 out of a hobby box so you're paying 19 cents a card versus 36 and i wanted to just compare like the hits i got today from my hobby box um, which i kind of call like six ish hits so here they are real quick so obviously the four mojo cards nothing nothing crazy there all vets we only got one black gold which i was surprised out of a hobby i was expecting at least two we did get a mother's day hot pink isaac paredes so not the biggest name but you know that is numbered to 50 so that is a nice card if it would have been the right player so our first numbered card we did get a numbered diamond um greats uh, at a 75, Roger Clemens. So that was a little bit of a surprise. Could barely tell because it just doesn't look too much different. So that was our second numbered card. We did we did just get a relic. You know, of course, it's a relic or auto in the hobby boxes. So we got a relic of Otani uh, from the All-Star game. Not numbered. I was surprised this card's actually going for like 25 bucks. So apparently he's got two of them. One is a DH, one is a pitcher. So that's kind of neat. But again, that's your relic. So... And then these are, I ended up getting two golds. This is the only ones I kept uh, in a top loaded, which was one of Rookie of Melendez and this nice rainbow foil of Otani's 100, 100 uh, home runs. So I did get one more foil and one more gold card out of that, that box, but you know not, nothing really big. So I'm kind of considering these to be okay. These, you, you'd call these your, your top five, six, and then again, the Mojo card's not counting those because you can't get these in a hanger. So I'm going to bet that we're going to beat this hobby box output from these seven hanger boxes. So that's kind of the challenge here. And again, just looking at the cost perspective, seven hangers or a hobby box, right? If you had a hundred bucks to blow, what would you do? And honestly, the other thing that you'd get out of this is probably a complete set. Um, so let's just go ahead and grip into this. We're going to skip the base and just go right to the good stuff in the middle. Uh, obviously, out of the hobby box, I got, you know, one of each pretty much of the Torkelsons and the J-Rods and the Bobby Witts and the Suzuki's and all that. So, not counting those, but from a numbered rainbow, you know, I didn't get any home field advantage. So, you know, there were, it wasn't the greatest box, but, you know, it could just kind of be your average box. And I'm already seeing something here that might be green. So let's see what we got in here. Also, you're going to be getting, yeah, there we go, right? So we got a green. I didn't get a single, um, you know, none of the foil-based cards. I just got the uh, the hot pink and whatnot. So let's see here. We got, so we're going to go ahead and get the base here. So the green's going to be out of $4.99. We got an angel. Hey, there we go. Now that, that's kind of perfect. We're going to actually do a straight card-to-card -card comparison. So a nice Otani, looks pretty, you know, a little heavy on the bottom, but that's a nice card. And look, we got a blue right behind it. That's the other sneaky thing, right, with the with the retail is you're going to get the blues, which, you know, again, are not, and they're not numbered, but they are harder to get just because there's only so many. That's kind of perfect that that's exactly the card that I was comparing. But again, you're going to get another parallel, and that's what we're looking for. And look, here we got We're going to have a parallel here and a rainbow foil. So one hanger already. We got 
three parallels out of one pack. And we're going to have our usual stuff here. Nothing surprising. And we got another insert. So, okay. So we got our usual inserts here and we're back to the base. So nothing else there. So let's go ahead and that's going to be box one. So that's kind of been my, and not just mine, obviously. I mean, you've seen a lot of this rip, but if this is the first time you're, you're seeing somebody compare this, uh, first of all, welcome to the channel. If you're new, give us a like and a sub. Comment below if you have any questions. But, um, you know, I really think hangers might be better. You do get the silver pack, but it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to, uh, we're going to have another colored card here. Look at that. We're going to get an orange. Wow. Orange will be out of two ninety nine, I think. Let's see. So then we're gonna first get okay, odd. That's oh, wow! Look at this. So we got a numbered stars of MLB. I have not seen one of these before. Out of twenty five, heavy bias. And behind him, we got an orange rookie. So it's a Tigers box. Look at that. Two numbered cards out of a hanger, one to two ninety nine, and the other to twenty five. So we are already we've already beat the number of numbered cards coming out of these hangers, and we still have uh five to go. That's really surprising. I had not even known that they made numbered parallels of these guys. It must be black. I guess. Well that's cool. I was wondering why that one was on top of the usual stack. But, um, wow. So, I mean, maybe the rest of the boxes will, the rest of the packs will be not great, but so far, here we go. So another insert, Alejandro Kirk. Then we get our usual, there we go. And then here it is. There is our one tops black gold. So we've already now matched the output that we got from the hobby box. I'm going to put that aside because I know we're going to do a direct comparison there and then we're back to the base so we're skipping that. So <clears throat> yeah let me know if you guys have been kind of contemplating the same thing. I mean this product is really fun to rip. I've normally by now I know it's only been out for a, a couple weeks but you know I tend to buy a lot when it comes out, build my sets, uh, sell the rest and but this time it's kept me coming back just because there's a lot more to it this year and also um I'll, oh that was the other bummer today i found out that the stadium club got pushed out so it's not going to come out on the 25th on my birthday anymore so that's a bummer and i wasn't going to pick alan and ginter up um or the top cosmic chrome kind of waiting to see what people's reaction are to those because um that cosmic chrome 200 was it two, 200 bucks on top's website Probably 225, worst case 250 at your LCFs. No guaranteed auto for that price, no thanks. So here we go, another blue. So again, we're just another parallel. And this one looks like it's more of a normal box. You got your blue, you got your four. These guys, the same collation every time. It's Witt, Duran, Cruz, and Abrams. Not a bad collation. And there we go, I don't have that one. So I need my Bobby Witt. Generation Now, Dinged Corner, but it's for the master set anyways so that's fine and then we got our rest of our base put away so yeah let me know if you picked up Allen and Ginter what did they add this year I saw there was an insert for bread sandwiches <laughs> oh man that is a um it's a difficult master set to put together I tried last year I'm still missing a whale two birds and a tree I think so if you want to hook me up with the trade on Allen and Ginter let me know in the comments, but uh, it's a quirky little set, but I get why people like it. So here we go, box number four. And I think I see another blue already. And the blues are not guaranteed. I just, I think I'm just getting lucky. I almost see a blue in two of the next three packs. So maybe we'll hit a top rookie out of this. So here we go again. We have, ooh, this is a blue. Oh, it's a blue insert, which are even a little harder to get. 
So Byron Buxton, yeah, there we go. So we got the double, again, these are not numbered. They do pop though, they're kinda nice. If you saw my PSA submission video, check that out. I did get a really sweet um, blue parallel of uh, Topps Black Gold, it was Bobby Witt. Nice color match. Sent it off to the upgrade shop. Hope to uh, see that back here in a few months. So we got another rainbow foil. So again, it's kind of adding up. And we got the Julio. All right, put that in the pile over there. And again, more inserts. I mean, I'm getting more inserts out of the, these packs too, which I need for my master set. Again, skipping the base. So, I mean, even though I was surprised how little inserts I was getting out of the hobby box. All right, let's see what we got here. And this guy, we have a chrome of Jaron Duran. This is another tough one to, tough little mini set to complete, but these are nice. Nice one there. there and the old Jesus lizard card and another insert so again so nothing no hits on that one kind of a base well not true we did get the uh, chrome stars of MLB so last two and we'll be able to compare what we got for 90 bucks compared to what I got for 120 No short print. I was expecting a short print. Um, oh, wow. Check that out. So I saw this happen to, uh, forget who it was. Was it Stryker? This is a short print, but it's not flipped backwards. The Clemens. Sorry, not going to camera around here. The Clemens is a short print there. You can see 59. So but it wasn't flipped backwards. But that is the spot where you'll find it, is right before you get to any of the foil cards. So we hit a short print, which is what I was hoping to get out of seven hangers. I think it's one out of every three. Maybe we'll get two. But I did not get one of these out of the hobby box, which I was kind of surprised. We have another rainbow foil. Chris Bryant. And we got our MLB cards, and looks like we got an insert, diamond grates, and another 87. So, par for the course there. Go through the base later. Assume, again, I assume we got all the normal rookies out of these 450 plus cards that we're opening. So, last hanger pack before we do our comparison and see where did we come out ahead. And which might be the best bang for the buck. I think we got another blue. Oh no, we got another stars of MLB upside down. It's a CJ Abrams, so that's good. I have. Uh, I don't know. Don't have a Julio of his, of this one yet. We did get another blue for the Nats. Okay. It's just Joe Ross, but it is another. Another blue parallel. And then what is it? O'Neill Cruz and then um Yeah, CJ Abrams. Okay, and then Bryson Stott and McCutcheon. So slightly different coalition, but these two guys always go back to back. And our final inserts here, Alec Thomas on the generation now. And Royce Lewis on the 87. So another Nice rookie one there, and then back to base. So let's let's compare here then. So again, we're trying to see if we beat out the hobby box. And let me get these sleeved up real quick. We'll be putting together my bulk set of all the parallels I'm not keeping so if anybody out there is trying to do a crazy rainbow foil set or gold foil or I do have a buddy on reddit that's doing the blue 
set, which is very impressive. Uh, so he'll be getting all those, but um, yeah, let, hook me up, look me up on my eBay store, and uh, we'll uh, compare notes there. All right, so let's bring back the stack from the hobby box. So let's say again, right, the silver packs, not counting them, but just remember you do get those, you know, technically that pack's worth around 15, 20 bucks. So we got a Mookie Betts, a single Tops Black Gold. We got the Aaron Judge in there, so we evened up on that. We did get a relic of Otani. We did not get a relic or an auto or anything out of the hanger packs. We weren't expecting to, but you can get autos and relics from it. So, you know, and this one technically worth about 20 bucks. So there's that. We did get a numbered um, insert to 75, but we also got the numbered Javi Baez to 25. So let's kind of call those on par, even though this one's a lower number, this one's the better player. So we had those two comparing there. We did get, um, so let's start with the gold cards. Did we get any gold cards? We did not get any golds from the hangers, which was a surprise, but we did get, we did get a 499 and we did get a 399 or 299. So we did get two numbered better than the two than the 2022. So we'll call that a win for the hangers. Plus it's a better card anyways with the Otani. Um, we did get the out of 50, so that's a nice hit. You can only get a, can you only get the Mother's Days out of hobbies? No, you can get these out of uh, retail as well. So you know these are tough hits. So this is definitely a plus for the hobby box, but um, we also managed to get the short print, which you know we'll compare that to uh, to a, add a fifty card. But I mean, we did get a short print. We did not get a short print out of the hobby box, and then we also got more rainbow foils. Um, actually, the same amount of rainbow foils that I got out of the hobby box. So we'll compare. We'll call that even. And then we ended up with the, all these blues. And actually, that's interesting. How come the insert blue is... Oh, this is a... Is this a Father's Day? No. That's interesting. So it's a completely different shade of blue. Maybe the inserts are just different. So, anyways. We got three blue inserts. Sorry, blue parallels, retail exclusive. And a fourth one, which looks like it's just a blue one, but it's a different shade of blue. Whatever. So, <clears throat> oh, we actually got more rainbow foils out of the hangers. So we got one more rainbow foil. Uh, no golds, though, but honestly, for the price, I'd rather go with all of this parallel. Again, it's just the possibility of getting another card. You're just going to get more, more, more darts to shoot at the board, right? And we did get short print, nice Otani, rookie parallel, the super low numbered insert on Javi Baez and that equivalent card. So to me, if I was to do it again, if you give me the chance for a hundred bucks to buy a hobby box without the silver pack or seven hangers, I'm going silver hangers. Oh yeah. And also I forgot we did get these Chrome inserts, which are only going to be available in retail. So there's that. And you got a boatload more cards. You got the stars of MLBs, which again are retail only. So I think it's overall a better deal to just stick with the hanger packs, hanger boxes. Uh, for that price, I'll probably be buying another 10. I get now why Striker bought two cases and Step in the Box is doing this like eight boxes a day. So it makes sense. It's the best bang for your buck. Um, you're not going to pull an auto likely. We haven't pulled a home field advantage out of either. I've, I've had terrible luck pulling those. But um, you're going to get more shots at the parallels and some of the retail exclusive hits that you can you can't get out of a hobby box so not too bad not too bad so there you go let me know what you think um let me know if you want to see more of this uh definitely we'll probably be doing some more update before we get into uh stadium club and um like i said if always give us a like sub we're getting to closer to 1500 and uh drop me a comment below let me know what you're thinking about hobby uh, about update and um What's the best card you've been pulling out of hangers? Anyways, guys, thanks, thanks a lot. Talk to you all later. Bye.